Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. I'm about to pop the layout together for you guys for um, Paper Crafters YouTube Hop, and it's called August Adventures, um, which could mean anything really, any adventure you think you've been on, um, you know, that you want to scrap about. Um, and I'm doing it in conjunction with Scrapping Reflection, Sandy from Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. Um, her Follow a Sketch Friday Post-it Editions. So as I've mentioned before, she's just going to sketch out something on a post-it note, pop it up in the album, and we're all going to have a go at it. So I thought I would incorporate it. But I wanted to show you something first. Yes, I may be a little bit behind the times because I don't buy brand, a heap of brand new stuff at, at, all at once. But I actually got, um, I had to order card stock the other day. And I saw that the Distress, Tim Holtz's Distress Spritz was on sale in a singular tube instead of buying the whole pack. And I saw Tara from the Paper Snob use these. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and look at Tim Holtz's um, YouTube channel and see if I can see him using it. And so I got it yesterday. I came straight upstairs and it's got a little bowl in there to, to so it's just clear liquid with the ink pigment in it and it gives you I don't know if you can see that or not but see how it gives you a really sparkly sheen and he called it a pearl look now he said that you could actually use your this is picked raspberry you could use your picked raspberry and then either you know Flutter it or spray it to give it that bit of oomph. So all I did last night or yesterday afternoon is come straight up here and go spray, 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 spray. <laughs> and I've left it overnight and I just like did the, um, which I haven't put enough on, but double-sided tape on the back. And then I went like that and I've got sparkly bits on my hand, but like not colour, but there's sparkly bits like glitter love it I'm gonna get the whole set and I think I might get it for Christmas as my Christmas present so at 69 here in Australia at craft online um, 69.99 for the set of I think there's 12 don't quote me and I love the look of all of them so I wanted just to get one to test it to see if I was gonna like it or not because there was no point buying the whole thing if I was not going to be happy with it. So, I will pop Sandy's sketch up in the left-hand corner. And let's get to it. I found that's the exact same size piece as I found on my desk. I did have to cut it down slightly because it was a 12, 12 inch. Um, I've gone three photos. And my title is going to be School Holidays Lunch Adventures. Um, this year we started on a school holiday. Actually, we started it the last couple of years. Every now and then I was on the school holidays in between term, I'll try and budget to take Danina's out somewhere for lunch or do something in the holidays with her. So this year we decided term one to go to a local hotel closest to us. Um, so, you know, so I'll pub meals or hotel meals or whatever you want to call it and so she ordered pizza and I had a which I've never had out before I normally go all seafood um I had a chicken cacciatore and it was a really good atmosphere you got to look out the window over the river like to the other side of the river even um and I zoomed in on her and it's when I've got it printed it's pixelated the middle bit so I've done the middle bit four by three and a half then four by threes and we're going to stick it down like this and I think that's where I'm going I found a border yeah, I'm going to go half half on I think because my title is quite big and it's going down here in fact no I want it to come down just a bit like okay let's get it on let me make it a little I'll go slightly above that this piece of paper, believe it or not, the scrap that I've got, 
is out of a wedding collection. <laughs> and I must have used it for something because it's got diamonds on it. And I thought, you know what? That is going on. We're using it because it's pink. Now, here, 12 months ago, my daughter tells me that, you know, I was to buy no more pink clothing. No more. She doesn't want pink anything. Sick of pink. Um, she likes reds and blues and greens and things like that. So I wasn't to buy pink or purple. Do you know how hard it is to go into a clothes shop? Shop for kids and there's buy no pink or purple. It's kind of nothing left. Anyway, here, uh, Christmas time I think it was. Well, actually, it could have been the week before because they have two weeks school holidays. So the week before she'd gone to the movies, I think, with a friend. And they went up to a, one of the clothing shops afterwards and she found this jacket. So it's like a felt material, but it's like a fake leather arm. I think what we used to call them way back when were bomber jackets. I don't know what you guys called them in America. but I'm sure that's what they used to call them, a bomber jacket. And she really liked the look of it. She tried it on in there and she bought it because she had money on her. And I came to pick her up and I went, but it's pink. Yeah, but I liked it. I went, but I wasn't allowed to buy pink. <laughs> anyway, my mum's got away with buying pink because it was all she could get. And underneath goes, oh, that's fine, nanny, that's fine. <laughs> but, you know, I better not buy pink because I'll be the worst in the world. Now, I found these borders that I actually got for in a, um, my, my friend Karen and I did last year a, um, scrapbook, um, oh God, like Christmas, advent calendar thing. So we put, you know, each day little, little bags of something and piled it into a little box and sent it off to each other. And these, these were in it. And I thought, I could be using those. What are you doing? So, I'm just going to see if I can cut that off a bit. Because we don't need it going right to the... That black. And then I'll just get a bit of double-sided tape. Go like this. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm using one of those. I'm going to go like that with the photos. I like my background. And it's pink. At least with scrapbooking, she can't tell me what colours I can use. I think it's just that getting older and then <coughs> tells me to buy her clothes for birthday and Christmas. And I say, but you know what you like. Why don't if I just give you money? I don't know, you can buy it. I'm sure I'll like it. Oh. Yes. I'm sure she will. She's not an ungrateful child. And she'll wear it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's not as cold here today. Overnight, it was quite mild. Hang on, I'll just fix something. I think I'm right. I just fucked that up. No. Let's have a little coughing session. I didn't do it on camera. I um, went out to do a little bit of gardening yesterday, half an hour's worth. It's better than nothing, and it got a little bit done. I got my roses trimmed down, even though they had started shooting, which was. A bit devastated about but they're done now I found this little lady and I thought she's dressed for success and my daughter is very fashion conscious everything's got to go with each other and the accessories have to match so yeah but 
it could be worse. I could have a child that's totally, you know, makeup mad and hair mad and but she's not. She's she likes her fashion and she likes her jewellery. Right. Now I'm gonna go. Holidays is gonna be the longest word. Oh, apart from adventure. Adventures. Oh, and I've lost my L. Uh, I might have to put one on. Did I put that back? Okay. I don't think I've got any more L's. One L on there. I will have to find that. Oh no, it's just down below. Look at that. So let's go. Adventures at the bottom. And I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to stick that there. I'm going backwards. I want a bit of a mixed title with letters. I've kind of had to go with what I could find that I had enough of. Sorry. Try and go as fast as I can for you guys. So I've got some capitals mixed in here with some lowercase and but I got the word. Right, there is our word. Adventures. Now I'm going to stick that on. I don't know where it's going to be. I haven't really thought this one through. These ones come up here. So when you see a sketch, don't don't be afraid of it. Um how does that one go? That's an S, but The weirdest. That way. Just going as close as I can, but with a slight gap. I don't normally do really long titles, but this kind of called for it because I didn't want to write it.
you guys in America, and I don't know about UK, but I think you do your schooling a bit differently. We have four terms throughout the year uh, for one grade. I'm happy with that. That looks good. And um, I can tell you by the end of one term, they are all absolutely looking forward to the school holidays. Right. I'm going to go down with that one. So I've just done stars as my embellishments because I can't really, couldn't really find anything to do with, uh, you know, going out for lunch. So I thought, well, this is what we're going to go with. I don't know if this is going to be too big for that. I'll have to go in half. Right, so the next lot goes up here. This is where Sandy's got them marked on her sketch. So I'm going to go like this. And these, these I just made with the Creative Memories um, punches. And scraps, pink scraps I found on my desk. Oh, I just put the sticky on the wrong side. These are in, this is this dark one's an embossed cardstock. This one's going down with here. And yes, so I think the last school holiday, she was a little bit sick, she had a little bit of a cold, but we still went on an adventure, we went and she had some money to spend um, on whatever at the in town and from her grandmother and so we went in and she spent her money and then we went to the museum because uh, we hadn't been there since I think we went with the school in... Grade three or four? Grade four. No, grade two. So I'm going to go like that. And our layout is done. And then we went to a different cafe and she tried um, a hot chocolate because she wanted to get a hot drink. But if she went to a cafe with one of her friends, she could order something that was hot, not just a Coke. And so she tried a hot chocolate because she's not a huge fan on coffee or tea. And so she had a hot chocolate and she liked it this time around. Photos to do of that. Um, so this is my layout done, everyone. Um, and getting her to deal with money as well teaches her a bit, you know, how much things cost, how much money you get back, how much you have to hand over, that sort of thing. I think that's important, seeing they don't really teach very well in school with the mathematics. They just want them to know algebra and stuff whereas you need to know a little bit of um everyday mathematics so yeah so i think in fact i might even oh, i'm tempted i'm going to i'm going to add some little dimensions to it i'm just going to go like that can't help myself everybody just going to go like that just around the stars. One up into there. Now I'm finished. Finished now. Okay, so that is it done. So if you think you might like to have a go at something like this, you don't have to do the spritz in the background. You can use whatever you want or just leave it blank. Um, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. I really don't mind. Um, at the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Thank you so very much. 
I'm going to put down below in the description box everyone playing along with the Paper Crafters YouTube Hop this month, um, as well as Sandy's YouTube channel because I know she's done a video on what she's done with her sketch, as well as her Facebook group. So you can come over and join and have a go at some of her um, little post-it sketches and then make them into a layout or something. Um, and this one could have been quite easily made into a card um, as well, I think. Quite a few of them could have, actually. So, thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. When you check everyone out, show them some love. Subscribe to them if you're not already. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like, or comment to anyone on YouTube. Um, and it helps us. It helps us grow our channel. It also gives us an idea of what you guys, you know, what you liked. If there was anything that you liked about our layout. Um, and, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Happy scrapping. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.